Hello, fuckheads. Well, today I'm excited because because we're gonna talk about the SNES classic from Nintendo. <laughs> oh shit! So straight up, right off the bat, I think Nintendo is genius for doing this. They're gonna make some money. But why? Why did they discontinue the NES? Why? I don't how much money did Nintendo make? The NES was $59.99. The SNES is now gonna be $79.99. They made so they sold that shit out, and now we got people fucking black marketing that shit, selling that shit triple, quadruple the, the value because they can get away with that shit. But anyways, I am fucking excited. I played the shit out of Super Nintendo growing up. So right here on Nintendo's website, Nintendo Nintendo.com, Super NES Classic. Says right here, $79.99, September 29th. I will be standing in line in the fucking rain, in the snow. I don't give a shit. I'm getting one. I'm getting two if they let me get two. Because I'm gonna keep one to play. And then I'm going to keep one in the package all nice and neat. Put it in a time capsule. Maybe sell that shit. You know, maybe do what all these fucking fuck rich boy fuckheads are doing. Maybe sell that shit for triple the value. Or just keep it for 20 fucking years, you know. And 20 years from now, it'll be worth, I don't know, grand. Who the fuck knows. The golden age, it's incredible how tiny that shit is. I wonder if the car if the cartridge right there actually like flips down like it used to. And I believe the controllers get your hands on some of the best two player games of the era. I believe the controllers are the same size, so they didn't fuck with the controller configuration. Because I mean, back in the day, these controllers were all we had. This was ergonomic, you know, compared to the the compared to the square ness, compared to the the square ness. I got so many blisters. On my fucking fingers, on the inside of my fingers right here, from holding it like that, you know? So, this was ergonomic back in the day. And the games, man, dude, okay, first of all, for the first time I ever played the never, board, never before released Star Fox 2. That's fucking sick. That's why I'm gonna stand in line for that shit. Super Mario World, every kid from fucking here to Mongolia, every kid has played Super Mario World. I don't give a fuck. You could be five years old right now. You could be 80. You played Super Mario World. Don't fuck with me. Legend of Zelda, of course. Super Mario Kart. That, that's a generation of just complete brilliance. Street Fighter, dude. Street Fighter fucking 2. Of course. Punch-Out got better. Donkey Kong Country. Fucking Mega Man X. Kirby, this is what like opened up. Like The first time I played Kirby was on the Super Nintendo. That Kirby was a huge factor in my video game playing days. Uh, fucking, oh, Kirby's Adventure Dreamland, dude, on the Game Boy. Oh, boy. Kirby's Dream Course, Star Fox, original one. Yoshi's Island, Earthbound, Secret of Mana. Those games are hard to fucking get. Super Ghouls and Ghosts. Like, all these fucking games, dude. Super Mario RPG, that was like the... That was like the legit first Mario RPG. That was that was the first RPG other than fucking other than uh, Zelda. Like this was the legit RPG. I'm excited about the SNES. Nintendo fucked up, and they're probably not going to uh, start producing the 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 NES classic. But this is smart. Now I hope they don't discontinue this because I want. Everyone to be able to get their hands on this. Not just the fucking rich guy at the front of the line who lives with his parents in his mom and dad's basement and has $4,000 to buy 10 of these. You know, I want kids to be able to get their hands on this shit and experience what I experienced when I was their age. You know, the fucking golden age of video games. This is what this was. The NES, the, S the SNES, and then the N64, Genesis, Se you know, all that shit. That, that timeline, you know? And hey, if they do this, if Nintendo fucking makes a mini 64, fuck, cool, right on. 
you know, if if Sega comes out, I don't even know who owns the rights to Sega. Is Sega even still around? Oh, no, I heard Sega was doing something. So Sega, if they did a mini version of this with preloaded games, fucking cool. Right on, man. Just get this to the kids. You know, so fucking kids have a chance to play this shit. Even though kids nowadays might say, fuck that, I'm going to go play Call of Duty, whatever. But at least they get a chance to experience what I and my whole generation got to experience. The golden age of fucking gaming. So I'm I'm super excited. I'm fucking buying one of these for sure. I'm going to try to buy two, maybe three. But yeah, man, good on you, Nintendo. Good job. Fucking... I, I talk shit about consoles a lot. Like, fuck PS4 and Xbox One X. Well, fuck the, the, the PS4 Pro, whatever the fuck. Fuck Xbox One X. But this shit, there would be none. There wouldn't be an Xbox or a PlayStation if it wasn't for this shit. So, I tip my hat to you, Nintendo. Keep it up. Just don't discontinue this shit. Just keep it going. Make some bucks. Make a couple dollars. Get Keep everyone happy. You know, don't allow this shit to go to the black market and sell for triple the value. Good on you. Good on you, Nintendo. Cheers.